We want to show up on the field and, and people to understand what we're about. We also want to show up in the classroom. We had five academic All-Staters this year, the most we've ever had. Um, we, we haven't dealt with really any discipline issues from getting in trouble in school, any of that stuff. Great leadership. Uh, guys show up early. They stay late. They pick up. You know, we don't have any hierarchy of who does what jobs. The seniors are in charge to make sure things are done. And, um, you know, so that, that's what our freak mentality is. It is it's not just on the field, it's off the field. And the things you do off the field tend to, you know, they, they show up here on the field, and, and, and that's obvious. Brad Dixon, his staff, his players, and his community have come together to build the Tri-State's model high school football program. But with one missing resume blur. Trophy to the Central Panthers who finished the season with a final record 13 wins and one loss. Congratulations to the Panthers. That elusive state championship hoist. Moreover, the Panthers' timing in seeking one out isn't exactly ideal coming at the heart of the Lena Winslow dynasty, which can this weekend surpass Jim Unruh's Carthage Blue Boys with an unprecedented fourth consecutive title hoist. It is the gridiron equivalent of trying to stop a runaway locomotive by throwing yourself in front of it. When we looked at the playoff draw and we thought, dang man, we you know, gotta play Calhoun again, which we knew was gonna be tough. Then we knew it was going to see Altoff and then Greenfield and, and um, you know, so to have Lee win to kind of cap it off, I, I told the guys, you can't write a better script. Um, they're not going to give us a game. We're going to have to go take one. Um, I love our guys. It's going to take a phenomenal effort, but uh, we've got 12 seniors. They're all healthy. You know, we've got everybody on our varsity roster. That's all we can ask for this time of year. And, and uh, the way we've started and the way we've uh, attacked each game, you know, we're going to go over there and, and be excited for the opportunity. But that barely suppressed tinge of excitement in Brad Dixon's voice is the dead giveaway here. If you know anything about that man, or Casey Ray, or in particular in this case, assistant Casey Monroe as well, you know that these gents have spent the last year ruminating on how to stop a juggernaut, particularly within the trenches, where Lee Wynn is so good paving the way for Gage Dunker's record-setting career. Having had an up-close look at how that works last year certainly helps. It's just going to take a lot of preparation. I mean, we're really good at preparation and treating stuff like it's business. And I think if we do what we do, we'll be good. I mean, last year we had a couple assignment issues going into the game, and I think knowing off of last year's game how it went will be a lot easier in the future. For, for sure, I'm a lot bigger. I mean, last year I only weighed 185 as a freshman. Now I'm kind of up to that 200-pound. like pound. Uh, I put on a lot more muscle, I guess, and like... My technique is a lot better. I mean, Coach Monroe has taught me everything. I mean, I need it, and I, he just wants me to go out and execute. As does the return of a now healthy Reese Wilkie, who sat out this title game last season. No small loss, to be sure. Moreover, this is a faster and smarter version of the Panther defense than it was a year ago. I mean, it just takes a lot of technique. I mean, size you've seen against, I mean, against Altoff, they're big, they were good, but as long as we can play our technique and play our way, then it's, we're going to come out on top. Knowing that guys are, are, I'm surrounded by guys that know everything that they're doing, you know, they, they want, they make me want to get better and know my calls that much more and just be that much more focused during practice. And then um, at the same token, when they have confidence in me, it just gives me that much more confidence in myself to play the way I know I can. Will all of that be enough at Hancock Stadium Friday morning? Only time will tell but it certainly should be a fun sorting out process. You know, Lena ended our season last year. You know, you don't really want to end the season with a loss, so we just want to go back, get on the film, and execute as much as we can, and hopefully we just we catch a dub.